Are you serious? Are you serious right now? What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. You know what it is. All right, so today we're gonna be reviewing a video titled, Brings the Truth to Black Women Who Bash Slash Disrespect Black Men. What are your thoughts on that? Good. <laughs> More people. Okay, right? no, that's good. And here we have a black woman sticking up for black men, which is rare. And I think, I think black folks, I mean, when I look at the Asians, the whites, the, you know what I mean? Like when, when you look at other uh, folks, you don't really see this uh, separation in the community. It seems like it's always with the black people, right? The black folks. Ah, hold on, pause, because uh, I, as I know the subscribers, if you watch our other video, like for me, like my background, I'm Mary Trian. Right. In our culture, it is very, like, mm. it. we are very, like, you know, how do I say this? Like, you trust the, per like, you mm. trust people who are the same background as you, like, you know, you give respect, and, like, it's very community with, with like, Eritrean, Ethiopian, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Big up all the culture. Big up all the East African. Yo, it's not a joke. Like that's just how I was raised. Like even my mm. mom would always say that. Like my dad as well. So that's true. Specifically in my culture, I can say like that's not it. Like mm. for it's always been very community wise for us. So yeah. Yeah, and I think that's what makes our channel so interesting is that you have come from a dual home, right? Yeah. All you know is the man is ahead. You know, you have a loving mother, and it just works beautiful right and mm -hmm. obviously you, you've come out well mm -hmm. for myself I'm from a broken home right I'm from a single mother household so for me this is normal like this is normal conversations mm -hmm. in regards to men black men being disrespected and you know what I mean all this other stuff but yeah. for you it's like whoa it's like a, a culture shock, shock yeah. right like, so obviously like it's not Coming from a tr traditional background, it's not always perfect. Do you right. know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not gonna but say that. Order, but there's order, there's structure there. Yes, right. yes, 100%. And I think, so. just based on our little back and forth, I think that's what's missing in the community, is structure. Mm -hmm. And a man is the person that should be providing the structure, right? Because a man is just a stronger vessel between the two, and it just makes sense. If you look at civilization, it was built from a man. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. Mm -hmm. Let's see what she has to say. Yeah. If a black man is demonized, then black people are affected as a whole. I'm affected as a whole. If a black woman is brutalized or demonized, I'm affected by that because I see us as a, as a unit. I don't see us so separate. Why do we have to separate ourselves so much from each other? Why is black women one separate entity and black men are another separate entity? That's not how it's supposed to be. That's not how any other race operates, but we're the only ones who operate like that and think it's functional. You feel me? I've said it before. Why do we get the label of strong, independent black woman? We don't hear that from nobody else. I've never heard strong, independent white woman, strong, independent Asian woman, strong, independent Latino woman, strong, independent Indian woman. I ain't never heard none of that. But we pride ourselves to being strong, independent black women, as if in independence is something that we should strive for as a people. Independence is death. Everybody needs somebody. And the reason why we're struggling in our households and our communities is because we think that there's something good about being independent. All right, so what are your thoughts on that? I, I mean, she's saying that majority of black women are always pushing this independence and other races, white, Asian, um, are not necessarily pushing that agenda. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I don't necessarily agree with it entirely. Just so my opinion from what I've heard just from maybe people around me and things I've seen on like online and stuff, but mm -hmm. um, and other research. But I would say black women are the most aggressive about it. Mm -hmm. um, but there are white women, Asian women, who are like, I like being an independent woman. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Maybe it's a little bit. It's not as like pushed. You know what I mean? But it's still, it's still said. It's Just, still there. You made yeah. a video about how Asian women uh, are in their like late thirties right. and forties who are like working women who want to be independent women. Yeah. In, Do you know what I'm in saying? In Korea. Yeah. Exactly. So same thing. Like, um, I. I would say my only like pushback to that would be that black women just are more aggressive about it. Um, that's hear, that's the only difference. But I, I hear, do hear from other cultures, it's not just Indian mm. women as well. Like it's not it's not just uh, black yeah. women. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. I, I I think 
I think the narrative is pushed more in the black community. Um, and like you said, they are aggressive with it. They're, you know, marching and doing these other things, protesting and, and um, doing these other things, other external factors to really push this agenda. Mm -hmm. But um, I think that's what's hurting the black community, right? That mm -hmm. message of being independent and strong and you being independent doesn't equal strength, right? Like look at the United States. It's one of the most powerful countries in the world and they still have allies, right? In different countries. Yeah. Because they know that if I was to stand alone, as big as and as powerful as we are, we need allies in different sources, in different places. Everybody needs help. Everybody. Right. You do not like society does not run independently. Right. Like do you know what I mean? So we all need each other. So don't sit here and act like um, like all you need is yourself. No, if something happens with your plumbing system, you're going to need to call a plumber because you're going right. to need some help. If something happens with your internet connection, you're going to have to call an IT person to help you out. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? You need somebody to help you always. You're never going to just be 100% unless you're off grid in the forest. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Then sure, you can you can say that you're independent. Right? And just to but, add to that point, is it going to be a man or a woman coming to, to, to fix your plumbing? It's gonna yeah. be a man, right? Yeah, majority yeah. of the time in those in, like in those uh, professions. Yeah. Anything to do with your hands. Not to say that there's you know there's not women plumbers, but no, I but mean, majority. Let's be majority. honest. Let's yeah. be honest here. Majority of people working with their hands and getting on ladders and things of that nature, building stuff, is from a man, mm -hmm. right? So the the fact that you're saying, hey, I want to be independent, is just complete disrespect because the home that you live in was built by a man, mm -hmm. right? But anyways, let's go ahead and continue. Uh, so far, so good, would, would you say? Yeah, so far, I do agree. Like, she's sending a great message right now. So yeah, yeah we're just going to continue okay. her out. Cool. Black women need black men, and black men need black women. You feel me? And I'm not going for the nonsense in my comments. I'm really not. I'm really not going for the nonsense in my comments, okay? I'm not going for all of that. All y'all, well, black men, anytime something happens to a black man and I say something about it, well, black men don't do this. They don't stand up for us because in the media, we don't ever see. In the media, we don't ever see. Are you serious? Are you really expecting the same media that tells us that only white women are beautiful, only slim noses are beautiful, only lighter skin is beautiful? You're expecting that same media to show you an accurate depiction of black men? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? You're showing that, you're expecting that same media to show you black love. Are you for real? You guys are wild. You're wild. You feel me? And I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Like, I don't know if it's social media that got me people messed up. Because I don't even call the people that follow me followers. Because I don't want y'all to be followers. Have we gotten into this follower society so much that we can't even think for ourselves? We just wait for someone to come up with an opinion or perspective so we can latch up. All right, so what are your thoughts yeah, on that? She's spitting facts today. Yeah. Bars. No, bars. it's just, I, I completely agree with her. Like, mm. um, I guess especially, like, I know in the, like, especially in the U.S., like, there's um, family dynamic. The father is usually absent. You know what I mean? So I you don't. Even, not just the U.S., right? North America. Like, we're, we're up in yeah, Canada. Yeah. We'll see North America. Right. Um, but I guess just generally a family dynamic is just different um, in regards to seeing like positive role models and things like that. So um, especially if you're going to rely on media, you know, they're going to send you all the negativity because like, yeah. that's what drama sells, right? Drama sells. Um, so they're going to send you all the negativity. This is what you think is supposed to be. No, it's supposed to be boring. It's supposed to be like simple. That's why they don't show it. It's mm. very like supportive. It's it's loving, you know, it's, yeah. it's not like... No, my household is boring. Like, right. it's not meant to be. Everyone is working. Everyone is doing what they have to do for the family. We're cooking. We're cleaning. We're all helping each other because that's what you're supposed to do as a family. Right. right? And my dad is, you know, there to help everybody. Like, you know what I mean? He's, mm. he, I just. Drama sells. Like yeah, you said, it's drama super, sells. It's just super, it's, it's not meant to be like anything crazy. You know right. what I'm saying? It's unfortunate that the black community is news <laughs> it's entertainment right yeah seriously which is unfortunate right because so. they're not going to show you the good stuff they're not going to show you like the the men that are actually doing good in their community who are actually being like you know who are providing for their family and doing everything they can to help each other like it's not it's not as 
um, as circulated. You know what I mean? Right. You'll see more bad than good. That's just always how like media is going to be. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let's continue. Yeah. Under that, yeah, that sounds about right. Have you ever thought to form your own opinions? Have you ever looked at the media and the news and been like, nah, this ain't it? I don't agree with that. I don't think that's right. This doesn't align with what I've seen in my personal life, and this doesn't align with the statistics, so I'm not going to believe this. Have you ever done that? You feel me? Or, how, or do you just take everything that you see and be like, yep, this is the absolute truth? Gil Scott Heron, and this is one of my favorite quotes, Gil Scott Heron says, the first revolution is when you change your mind about how you look at things and see that there might be another way to look at it that you have not been shown. When you start to realize that there's perspectives and things that you didn't even know about, that's when you truly become so-called woke. You know what I'm saying? That's when you truly become woke. You know? And if y'all keep on, it, it, like, oh, Lord. Try me in the comments, though, for real. Like, even in this live, try, like, I'm not, I'm not in the mood for y'all because this is, this is serious. There's a lot more at stake than what y'all think, y'all. Y'all sit up here and get on Instagram and don't see the reality of what's going on. Don't see the fact that, like, out of all the different people and races, we're not progressing as fast as we could because we just choose not to work together. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. It is 100% ridiculous. All right, let me do this. Hold on real quick. Because there's some people in here being stupid. And I'm not in the mood. I'm so not in the mood. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better watch it. <sighs> I'm so not in the mood. Like I was saying, there's so much more at stake than we think it is, man. We coming from broken households, from, from, from single parent households. We don't have a clue what a healthy relationship looks like. We don't know. We don't know how to begin to love one another and everybody think it's a game. Everybody want to get on here and bash people. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to get on here and bash people and all that type of stuff. Like even aside from everything that's happened, the fact remains that the man has died. You know, the fact that people are even trying to bring up these type of conversations, the fact that people are saying these type of things when he's no longer here to defend himself, lets me know that you're a coward. You had over a decade, over a decade to talk about these allegations, to ask him directly. You had all that time to do that, but you wait until he's dead to want to talk about it now. You want to ask people questions and what do you think about this as a woman? You see how she approached her and how Gail approached, approached uh, Lisa Leslie as a woman in the NBA, as a female ball player. I don't know why we try to separate that so much. You feel me? I told you guys this already. I'm black first. I'm black before I'm female. All right, and that's a good point because I remember Ice Cube, um, like when the whole presidential thing was happening, Ice Cube had a plan. He made a plan for black folks, right? Black communities, black, black families. And the only one that was listening to him was Trump, right? And he brought it to Trump and he's like, hey, you know, what do you think about this? Will you fund this? And Trump ultimately was like, yeah, I, like I will fund this if I'm reelected. Mm -hmm. So you went on this show, um, I think it's like Fox Soul or something like that. Anyways, it has like Vivica A. Fox and all these other. So these, uh, so Vivica A. Fox specifically was like, oh, is there anything in there for black women? And he's like, what do you mean black women? It, it's, it's a black plan for black people, right? And Why she's, is she, what? Right, and she's here. Oh, no, 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 no. Is there anything in there for black specifically. women? Specifically. Specifically, right? So there's this. I'm confused. There's this mental block that a black man is separate from a black woman. And that is what is being pronounced currently what in the in the community. What kind of question is that? Obviously it's it's meant to be for family, right? Is what you said? Just the black community. Mm -hmm. Right? In its entirety. Because if you help the black community, the black family, yeah. you're gonna help black people. Yeah. As a whole. So what woman and 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 a man, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just it's sad because that is the problem with the black community is the separation right and if you want to dominate any race disarm the man and put a woman in power and that's just what it is yeah but uh let's continue let's see what else she has to say male i'm black before all of that all of that takes priority over my gender you know what I'm saying? 
But they want to they want to get you at that angle. Well, you're female. How do you feel about it? Because since you're female, how do you feel about this perspective? Blah, blah, blah. They don't give a damn about you being male or female when you black. Y'all, rem- y'all, I mean, there's so much brutality that goes on that we forget about it. Y'all remember when that pregnant black woman was on the ground and she screamed out, I'm pregnant. And a dude shot her five times. Y'all remember that? Or did y'all forget about that? I didn't forget about it. Did they seem to say, oh, she's a woman. She's a feminist. We're not going to shoot her. She's pregnant. We're not going to do anything to her because she's a woman. Or did they say, she black. Shoot her. I don't give a damn if she's a woman or not. Y'all feminists think you having a vagina going to save you. It's not. If you black, you black. Having a vagina is not going to save you. Having that ain't going to save you. You feel me? You actually going to get it worse. You think that's going to save you? If stuff really go down, you feel me? You think that's going to save you? You think it's going to be a good thing when they kill off our men and we're left for the taking? Because there's no one here to protect us? You think that's going to save you? If they get a hold of you as a woman... And there's no black men, the black men that you love to bash so much because of their so-called toxic male masculinity. There's none of them around to protect you. You're going to hate the fact that you're a woman if they get a hold of you. All right, guys, we're going to end the video here. Um, There's, what, another seven minutes. Uh, We'll probably go ahead and link the original in the description. But that's a good point because when you're in trouble or if you hear a bump in the night, you turn feminine real quick, <laughs> right? All that yeah. masculine energy yep. goes completely out the window, uh-huh. right? You're uh-huh. going to want that man to see what's happening and ultimately risk his life if there is an intruder, right? So what do you, I mean, what are your final thoughts on that? I would love people like my parents to like put themselves out there and really just be able to speak on their experience. Like 20 plus years married this is how they've been able to raise their their children and mm. how their family dynamic is like hearing real experiences from people that are actually doing, being more very successful in, mm-hmm. in this area is is super important too so um definitely more black people who are in loving relationships who can show yeah be better examples kind of thing um that i think would also be a really good help yeah, and that's a good so point. Easy to follow. Like, you, you tell me what you do. Yeah. You know you've been doing it right for this many years and whatever. It's been working for you. Let me give it a try. It, it might work for me. Too. Yeah, and that's a good point because a lot of the advice that you're hearing online are from single people or people that are not even in the community to begin with. Yeah. Or they're not living what they're preaching, right? Mm-hmm. So you literally have blind leading blind in that aspect on how to have a loving relationship how to have you know the family unit stick and come together right so that's a good point Mm -hmm. i don't know of any outlets i mean comment below but i don't know of any outlets of a married couple 20 30 40 years talking about these issues and saying hey this is how we did it i don't i don't know of any there are a couple i think I don't recall the channel names or anything like that, but I know I've seen like there are there are channels out there. Well, I mean, like um, on a on a on a on a national perspective, like The View or um, the Steve Harvey Show, like you know Ellen. Like I don't know of any national TV shows or just national you know coverage. Boris Kodjo, I think that's his name. Yeah, yeah the, uh, the, the ball head guy. <laughs> yeah, the actor. So him and his wife, I think, had like a talk show for a minute. Oh, they did. Um, okay. Yeah, and like they like they had their situation. Did he get divorced though? No, they're still together. They're still together. As far as I'm concerned. Okay. From, yeah, yeah, they're still together. Mm. Um, obviously, you know, you don't want to always just look at celebrities. Right. Um, but just even everyday people just you know keeping it easy and simple like yeah. um and just answering questions from people in the community as well i think there mm-hmm. was another channel on youtube it's like black love i think is okay. what it's called yeah. um there are two married cu- like so it's a married couple and um i think they just bring on they're like we don't know what to do and how to be good in our marriage so we're gonna have pretty much open talks and have couch talks um, with people who are married who have been doing it successfully so then they can better understand it for themselves. Mm. They're like, hey, we'll record it and put it online for other people to learn from it. So okay. Black Black Love, I'm pretty sure, is what the channel is called. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, maybe we'll do a live stream. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We so can comment, even, yeah. comment below if you guys want us to do a live stream. Uh, we can definitely do that yeah. because I think more couples, 
that are successful need to have these discussions. Yeah, I agree. So that ultimately, you know, people from broken homes or just black people in general would know what to do, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I think that needs to be echoed in the black community, success stories. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, let us know. Like, yeah, if there's any questions, whatever. So, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and end this video. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time.